Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. In today's video, I'm going to go over the design of the rear bushing of the BMW X3Ms and X4Ms and explain to you why they fail and how the design is deliberately made to make the bolts fail and the bushings fail in three ways. So I'll bring you in close and we're going to take a look at this bushing and explain to you why it fails and how the different options that are available fix this failure. This is a brand new OEM rear differential bushing for the BMW X3M and X4M. Okay, this bushing is designed to fail in three modes. It has three modes of failure and I'll show you what they are right now. Number one, there's an insert inside the center of the bushing that is not round, it is ovaled out. And that oval shape allows the OEM bolt, this is an OEM bolt, to move. This is a brand new, never installed bushing. So this is how much movement you have when you drive. This bushing allows this bolt to move this much, okay? That is unacceptable. And that is not on accident, that is by design. Okay, so that much movement will eventually take this bolt and bend it back and forth until it bends or breaks. That's number one. Number two. This bushing should be extended all the way to the end of this neck that meets at the mount flange on the differential. But it has been reduced. And additionally, the rubber inside the, this bushing is even farther in. So it's like an inch and a quarter from here to where the rubber is. So when you have that much of a distance and you have a rubber inside, it allows this neck to move. In addition to the movement, the, the slop, it bends. And I can do it by hand. Imagine what your differential can do. I can, I can move it by hand even without the bolt. I can move this centerpiece. That is not good because it takes a force that is supposed to be in shear and it extends this out and turns it into a bending moment like that adding stress to the bolt. Any bolt you put in here with this design will fail. Okay, so number three is the rubber itself is too soft. It allows movement in conjunction with the length and the slop. You get a tremendous amount of transition of shear force to bending moment force. And that is why these bolts fail. So the solutions that are on the market, there are three right now that I know of. Number one, Einhorn, excellent solution. Mofab, excellent solution, especially for high horsepower uh, vehicles. Both of those are excellent solutions. And then there is my bushing that I've designed and insert that is the bolt saver solution, which allows you to re retain your OEM bushing. You remove this distance, you remove this slop, but you retain your soft rubber for noise dampening. So you're going to have the same quiet as OEM, and you're going to have nice, strong, supported neck and no slop. Okay, but that is how this bushing is designed to fail and it will fail if you don't get one of those solutions in your vehicle. I will have separate videos for, uh, I already have a video for the Einhorn solution which is excellent. I will also have a video for the Mofab bushing by Ryan um, and I will have a separate video for the bolt saver bushing that I've designed to allow you to keep your OEM bushing we do remove this distance, remove this slop, and, rain, and, re, and retain the quiet OEM driving quality. 
And I'll link all three of these other videos to this video so you can look at the Einhorn video separately. You can look at the MoFab video separately. You can look at the Bolt Saver video separately. And you can also look at um, the tool that I designed to make this bushing easy to remove out the back, which is called the um, back out bars. It's a back out bar tool that allows you to remove this out of the back so you don't have to take so many things apart on the car. You don't have to take out the V-base. You don't have to take the X-base. You don't have to lower the differential. You don't have to remove the heat shield. You just take out four bolts, lower your exhaust, put in your back out bars, and remove your bushing and install the bolt saver kit. Now, you will have to remove this bush, this, uh, this little insert. And the best way to do that is to saw it out that I found there's a little groove in it, in the center, a little track. I don't know if you can see it on that side, can you see it on this side? There's a little track. It's basically a guide. And if you're patient, you can use a hacksaw and you can cut that, but that insert and remove it and put in the new. Some people drill it out. However you want to do it, just be careful. And then you can put in the new insert and you can put on our donut bolt saver bushing. Um, that's on our website, renfix.com. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Drive safe and have a nice day.